It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Raquel Pennington and Marion Renault. well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That's who really helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jiu-jitsu. I don't want to kick, box, and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Well, I'm not sure if she's a third degree or a fourth degree Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. All I know is that you are in imminent danger every time she closes the distance. Oh, the belt color hasn't changed, John, but they are just adding stripe after stripe after stripe. <laughs> she's got so many stripes on her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt that it's unbelievable. And because of that ability, to do jujitsu at such a high level. It's almost like you're going into biology class whenever you go on the ground right. with her. Because as you're thinking, if I do step one to get to step two, she's already on step five. Right. She's working on the finish before you even understand that you're in danger. The, the quick strike ability in the jujitsu is something not many people possess. I cheated to pass my biology final in college. <laughs> I wish there was a way to cheat in jiu-jitsu, <laughs> but she doesn't need to. Big spot for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Phantom Weight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of nine wins, eight losses, and one draw. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Visalia, California, Marion, the Belizean Bruiser. No. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 13 wins, nine losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Raquel Rocky Pennington. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. So here we go, as anticipated as any fight on this card tonight, the well-rounded fighter versus the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. How do you see it playing out? This fight can go two ways. This can look ugly for the Jiu-Jitsu fighter. She could be forced to stand. She's in a lot of trouble. She needs to take this fight to the ground as soon as she can in order to win the fight. So the fighters clinch here early, and she has really historically done some of her best work with these type of fighting situations. Yes, she does a great job of overwhelming you with this clinch position. With all the homework, with all the details, it's hard to keep up. She gets to the test every single day. That is how you scramble, folks. She is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, not able to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that grounded palm. Money in the bank. Oh, Pennington's back inside control here. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound, and this is gonna really zap her opponent as they get back to the feet. 
Just over three minutes to go now. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Renault. Pennington's in half court. Attempting a choke now. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, nice job by him, nicely done. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Renault's trying to get a triangle here. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, wow, oh! All right, she postures up here. Oh, man, that was slick. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. Lance is striking out from the bottom. Nice work there by Renault. Her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be throwing. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well. Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. In attack and arm bar. Nicely done. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. It's just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Oh, Pennington's right back to the full mount here. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Renault's trying to get a triangle submission here. during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Renault's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Five minutes in the books. Big round for her there. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And a lot of these pictures are going to be rooted in that killer ground. Yes, yeah, she got the fight where she needed it to be. You knew that if she was going to be ahead, if she was going to be the one winning, she needed to be on top, landing that beautiful ground and pound. She got the fight where she wanted it. And you see the result. Her dominating the action at the close of the round. Gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Throws the right hand there. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Real quick leg kick. And a nice job, at least. That Level change, the leg, finish the takedown. Great job. All right, nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground and pound off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Oh, Pennington's has got full mount now. 
All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side under her. Renault's submission game is underrated. She goes for the triangle here. She was in trouble, now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really... Oh, Pennington's got the head. Let's see if she can finish off this guillotine attempt. This is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you got her nose looking to lock up an arm bar here. Gotta be careful, arm bar. Oh, she slams her to the ground and with authority right there. So that's certainly one way to fend off the arm bar, lift your opponent up and slam her to the ground. Well done. Oh, she gives up her back here. So a case of pick your poison, and now she's gonna have to work hard defensively to prevent the fish. Well, she's gotta protect her neck. That's the first thing. She's gotta really be aware of where her opponent's arms are. If her opponents get anywhere near her neck, she needs to really defend. Attack the top hand. The top hand is the choke hand. Make sure that top hand is always yours. When you grab it, keep it. It belongs to you now. And then start to work. Try to get to your base and get back to your feet. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Renault's trying to get a triangle here. She does pretty good work here. She does great work in the half guard. She's very brutal. She's very heavy with her top half. So she doesn't worry about the opponent escaping. And this side control is very good for her because she wants to wear on you. She wants you to try to carry all of her weight with your upper body and make a mistake that will lead to a fight ending finish for her. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Straight punch lands. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. And just inches away from the launch. Oh, and there it is. So her best entry, I think, in terms of the offensive wrestling and the takedown. Oh, watch Guti here. Oh, 
Watch the guillotine. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, well played there. Right, so she goes for the double leg takedown here, DC, and she is able to secure it. Beautifully done there. Beautifully done. Great timing, great angle on the finish. Great job getting to her best position. Pretty good right hand. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can truly be entertaining. Pennington's able to transition back to side control now. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. Oh, she's got the full mount now, DC. Her ground and pound is fantastic, and maybe that'll open the door for a submission. It will have to open the door, because if she rushes, she'll fall off to the side. In the top, Renault's trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, wow, oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Wow! She's got side control now. Maybe some of those knee strikes to the body. A lot of different things available to her here. Now, in the side control, you may feel like the bottom person that you have a lot of outs, but there is a lot of danger in those positions too. A lot of danger in the knees coming your way. A lot of danger in the chokes. So you have out, but you're also constantly under duress from a great top fighter. Man, she's got some good ground and pound and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. All right, north-south position now, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to escape? If I'm the bottom fighter, she needs to try and force the top fighter to make an action to create some sort of sequence that will allow her to start defending. Because the moment you're on the bottom there, you're just kind of waiting, right? You're fighting with your hands, trying to grasp onto something that will allow you to get up. It's a very difficult defensive position, but it's not impossible. There are many, many ways for you to get back up to your feet. Fighters back to their feet here. 124 total strikes have landed for Rocky Pennington. And essentially landing on seven of every 10 attempts, 71% unofficially, the accuracy rate thus far against Maureen Renault. A oh, strong series of kicks by her there. It's almost like she throws her feet as if they're two more hands. I mean, that is crazy. Use every weapon available, and she is using her kicks as her main weapon. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much she'll apply. Oh! She is there's her Gets up again here, but her Renault's looking for an on par here. from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here, nice punch. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her. And you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that strike to win a pretty easy decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' phone call for a decision. All three judges for the contest, 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Raquel Joaquin Pennington! All right, so she finally cracks a smile there. She gets her hand raised by unanimous decision, and certainly at times looked like maybe the finish would materialize. It didn't. Nonetheless, she gets a W, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. If you were waiting for that smile, it wasn't going to happen until the fight was over. Now she can relax a little bit as she wins a unanimous